The Aristotelian definition of rhetoric is the art of persuasion. Since we know semiotics to be a visual type of rhetoric, what is this commercial trying to persuade you of? Hello, ladies. Look at your man. Now back to me. Now back at your man. Now back to me. Sadly, he isn't me. But if he stopped using lady scented body wash and switched to Old Spice, he could smell like he's me. Look down. Back up. Where are you? You're on a boat with the man your man could smell like. What's in your hand? Back at me. I have it. It's an oyster with two tickets to that thing you love. Look again. The tickets are now diamonds. Anything is possible when your man smells like Old Spice and not a lady. I'm on a horse. Do you feel that they are doing this in a fair way? Answer this question in any way that feels right to you. You can pause the video at any time. Through the intentional use of about every logical fallacy in the book, misdirection, ad hominem attacks, clever non sequiturs, appeals to emotion, we, the viewers, arrive somehow at a positive view of Old Spice. The ad, in an albeit exaggerated manner, illustrates for us how the use of visual signs and symbols can sloppily, yet with great effectiveness, persuade you to accept a proposition. But let's take the contemporary rhetorical criticism a step farther. If Plato believed that true rhetoric's aim always was truth, by honest means, can this ad be thought of as such? In the age of an almost limitless digital enhancement, it seems that we cannot say that this type of media's end goal is truth. As such, it might be more fitting to adopt a term Plato and Aristotle used for false rhetoricians, sophistry, the use of a fallacious argument, especially with the intention of deceiving. If images are focal points of meaning, are the uses of images that couldn't possibly exist without Photoshop simply a form of sophistry in the digital age? One of the important differences between the rhetoric of the image and the rhetoric of the word is that images are relatively more flexible at allowing differing, even conflicting attribution of meaning to the same text. And we can expect that discrepancy to grow larger as we move further into the digital age.